All right. So we are up to the sixth chakra um, mudra for the sixth chakra. Um, and the mudra that accompanies this is called Prashula Mudra. It is the gesture of the trident, which is a kind of I'm using three fingers, so it's like a trident. This one for me is a little feels a little funny to hold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think it's one that I, I've settled into once I settle into it. All right. <laughs> Dog hairs flying everywhere. <laughs> All right. You warmed up? So open the hands all the way out. Taking your pinky. You're taking your pinkies and you're trying to touch the base of your thumbs with your pinkies. So you got to probably bring the thumbs in. And then the thumbs hold the pinkies in place. And the other three fingers extend away as much as you want. Bring this down, resting the back of the hands on the lap. Make sure that you're nice and tall, maybe lift up to the heart. The exhale can bring the shoulders back and release the shoulders down the back. So you should feel the neck get nice and long when you do that. If it's comfortable, you can close your eyes or keep them open. Up to you. Just take a moment to settle in. Maybe you notice how the physical body feels. Sitting here, holding this mudra. It's a chance to maybe let go anywhere you might be holding. Jaw, shoulders again. heart. A little mental check-in. See how you're feeling this morning. And finally coming to the breath. So we're working with our third eye today, that space between the eyebrows. Maybe just the idea of an inhale up to that area. Maybe up into the sinuses. Trishula Mudra, gesture of the trident for balancing the sixth chakra. From jo Mudras for Healing and Transformation by Joseph and Lillian LePage. The sixth chakra, Ajna, which means center of command, is located at the third eye between the eyebrows. The main theme of this energy center is developing a vision of unity beyond all questions, doubts, and dualities at the level of the personality. This vision of unity allows us to discern clearly between the limitless true self and the limited personality. The process of moving beyond the play of opposites is represented by the lotus of the sixth chakra, with its two violet petals that are often placed on either side of the all-seeing eye of wisdom. Before the awakening of the third eye, we tend to see all of life as a play of opposites, success and failure, loss and gain, that naturally create tension and conflict. As we move beyond loss and gain, that naturally create tension and conflict. As we move beyond duality, through awakening wisdom and clarity, we come to see life's up and ups and downs 
as a process of exploration and learning that ultimately leads to a vision of unity. Trishula means trident and is the symbol of Shiva, a deity that represents spiritual transformation through sustained discipline. The trident symbolizes Shiva's three eyes, the two physical eyes plus the eye of wisdom between the eyebrows. Trishula Mudra gently directs breath, awareness, and energy to the sixth chakra, facilitating the opening of the third eye, awakening the wisdom and one-pointed concentration that allows us to see beyond dualities. This gesture slows the train of thoughts, allowing us to witness them more easily rather than identifying with them and subsequently reacting unconsciously. In the silent space between thoughts cultivated by this gesture, we are able to perceive our true being as the unchanging background for all our thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Trishula Mudra gradually leads us to the vision of clarity, revealing our essential nature as unity beyond all dualities. So as you are holding Trishula Mudra, allow for some moments to attune to any feelings and sensations that may be awakened by this gesture. Notice how your awareness and breath naturally rest at your third eye, your center of clear seeing beyond all dualities. With each inhaling breath, subtle energy gently infuses Ajna Chakra. And with each exhalation, your forehead, face, and jaw naturally soften and relax. Allow for some time and visualize your six chakras, two violet petals unfolding and softening in synchrony with your rhythmic breathing. As the lotus of your sixth chakra unfolds naturally, you deepen your ability to see unity beyond life's dualities allowing all doubts, questions, and searching at the level of the personality to be resolved completely. To enhance your ability to see beyond dualities, bring to mind a question doubt, or issue in your life at the present time. Take several breaths and reflect on this question, acknowledging that there may be many ways of seeing beyond your habitual solutions at the level of your personality. to expand your horizons in relation to the issue you are exploring. Begin by focusing your breath into your right nostril and the right side of your body. Take some time to attune deeply to this right nostril breathing. Noticing how the rational, logical aspect of your being 
is awakened naturally. From this logical perspective, envision one possible direction for the issue you are exploring. Inquiring deeply as to how this direction would support your life journey. Now, direct your breath into your left nostril and the left side of your body. Taking some time to attune to the receptive, intuitive aspect of your being. From this more intuitive perspective, reflect on a different point of view, looking at this issue more holistically, taking into account everyone's perspectives and feelings. As you breathe through your left nostril, Inquire within your being as to how this direction would support your life journey. Now, focus your breath into both nostrils and both sides of your body evenly while holding both possibilities within your third eye simultaneously. By simply remaining present, witness both possibilities without judging or analyzing. With this, you cultivate a space of non-duality in which insight can arise naturally. Take some time to allow insight to awaken from within your being. Envisioning a path that integrates both your logical and intuitive to reveal a vision of unity. Take several breaths and integrate this vision of unity, allowing your breath and awareness to rest at your third eye, experiencing clarity beyond all dualities. Affirm your vision of unity. 
as you repeat to yourself. Through the power of clear seeing, I awaken to the unity beyond all dualities. in your own time when you're ready. You can slowly release and let go of the mudra. Allow for a few breaths here to rest within that unity. And then we can join the palms and the hands together, meeting at the center of the chest. May I, I be well. May, may I be, be happy, happy and content. May, may I, I be free from danger and suffering. May I be filled with loving kindness. May, May you be well. May, May you be happy and content. May you be free from danger and suffering. May you be filled with loving kindness. May all beings be well. May all beings be happy and content. May all beings be free from danger and suffering. May all beings be filled with, with loving kindness. Thank you for sharing this mudra with us. Namaste. Yeah, I, I have to turn it into a completely different <laughs> mudra for my right hand. I have to press the nail of my pinky down with my thumb and extend my fingers that way. I can do it with my left hand is okay, but my right hand will not. Any. <laughs> no. <laughs> is it okay for you? Though? Super comfortable for me. Yeah. It's like they no. slide, they fit together, like no problem. Yeah. Because mm, I think I have big hands, maybe. That mm. no comfortable for me. And that your d dexterity of your fingers, maybe, perhaps too. Mm. It's like nothing. Yeah. How the whole time I even think about it. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Gifted. <laughs> I'm gifted with Trishula. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. Well, thank yeah, you. Yeah, have a too. wonderful day, everybody. We'll see ya. Bye. Bye, Internet. <laughs>